On May 4, 1912, this gold band was given to Catherine Rondelli by Thomas Del Santo, Arden's great-grandparents. Today and every day, let this ring serve as a sign of your family's past and the hope it carries for your future and generations to come. Give a big round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen, Arden Amlian and Patrick Wyman. told me about Arden, his words, and I quote, were, she's the one. I'd never heard that from Pat, and he wouldn't stop talking about her. And I was, I was in awe. I thought, who could really make Pat feel this way? Now, now I know. smart, so hardworking. I love you. Um, you've always been my dream come true. Patrick. <clears throat> Patrick, I want to welcome you, you, welcome you to the family. Um, you're the first time I met you, I could tell the love you had for Arden. Um, you're a gentleman. She's so in love with you. You're, you're smart, ambitious, hardworking. Uh, I can't say any more. We're so welcome to have you into the family. Pat and Arden, uh, you are both such strong people. And uh, I told Arden I wasn't going to look at her, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, but uh, such strength between the two of you. student, hilarious, enthusiastic to say the least, loyal, and I look at Pat and Arden today and I think it's just one more thing to add to a list of successes in her life. Just say when. Just say when. Oh my God. You look so unbelievably beautiful. It's so handsome. So I was introduced to Pat exactly three weeks after they met. And in these three weeks, not only did they decide to be boyfriend and girlfriend, they had exchanged the I love you. Ooh, is right. I went to her first meet and greet, a little worried. And at dinner, there was a moment when I looked up from my menu and I saw Pat looking at Arden like I never saw anyone look at Arden before. 
And that meant a lot to me. And I knew this was really something special. Good evening and welcome. Arden and Patrick and their families are so glad to have you here. And we are here today to celebrate, honor, dance, laugh, and be glad that Arden and Patrick have found each other. Kat, I've grown up knowing that marriage was absolutely something I wanted in my life. To have a partner to share in life's joys, comfort through their sorrows, to create a family with and take on the world together. I love your never ending well of enthusiasm for everything the world has to offer. I love the joy that you take in life. And I love knowing that you'll greet every single day with a smile so bright that it makes the morning sun seem like a pale imitation. I love you because you make me see all the endless possibilities the world has to offer, and by pursuing those possibilities, to become the very best version of myself. Every day I will choose us. I vow to make our love an inspiration and example for our future children so they too can know what love is capable of. I promise to create a home full of laughter and unending love and support where the best thing everyone can be is themselves. I promise to share my whole heart with you, to love you loyally and fiercely for as long as I shall live. I promise to care for you when you're sick, to make you feel better when you're sad. I promise to respect you, to appreciate you, and to always be your best friend. I promise to make you laugh to give you the very best hugs, to the world's foremost connoisseur of hugs, <laughs> and to always, always hold your hand. Most of all, Arden, I promise to love you now and forever. Arden and Patrick, let your love be an inspiration to others to reach for what is good within us all. May your love be so abundant that you have plenty to share with the rest of us as well. So by the authority vested in me as a judge of the state of New Mexico, I do now pronounce you husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride.